We gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. I'm kind of um. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, I was supposed to give you a solo shot next time you did that. What do you mean? Uh, you know, a single. I was supposed to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> when you cough, but I forgot. A solo shot when I cough? Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> so, I've been going through what I would call a cats in the cradle. Uh, I don't know, phase uh -huh. with my kids. Um, You're going to have to really explain that to me because I know the song. I know the melody of the song. I, I find the song to be creepy, so I <laughs> avoid the song. Why do you find it to be creepy? It's just the 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 way the cadence of the song. I and the food just the other day. Yeah, I, to me, it seems creepy, like... Someone's walking behind me like I'm trying to get home, and it's like one of those like gloomy, cloudy days, what you, and it's a little windy. It does seem and like I just a gloomy. I want to get home, and I can see someone behind me, like uh, maybe like 25 feet, not a big deal, but he's like, I don't know. It, it just has like, that creepy, lurking feeling. It does seem like a, a gloomy song. Um, what do you think it's about? I don't know. I have no idea, but I also don't like the <laughs> title. <laughs> Cats in a cradle. Yeah. Is I don't, it, cats don't belong in cradles. And I just think that's kind of, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> so I don't know how to interpret that. You know what I mean? So do you think that it's like, um, you know, the, you know, how every, every breath you take has a, a, a sub meaning to it? You know yeah. what I mean? Do you think it's like that? I know. I, I honestly, You'll have to give me a couple lyrics because I have no idea. Oh, okay. So, I've, so you're I honestly in the dark. like blank. Like, <laughs> like other than like, I, I, I can hum it, but I don't know anything to it. Okay. So, all right. So, we're. I'll let the song kind of. I'll go into the song and then I'll kind of go into how I feel, how I've been feeling. And this is the lyric one, so it have the lyrics up there. Okay. Unfortunately, because it is YouTube, we're going to have to probably stop it at every <laughs> seconds because, you know, we don't want to catch that. <laughs> we don't want to catch that violation. You know what I mean? Those fucking things, man. I know, right? Like, come like, on. Come on. Let me eat, bro. Like, Let me eat. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, come on. You're like, little on me, really? You're going to have a problem with this? Come on. And so while I could say the same about my, my uh, daughters in this, um, the song is about I guess a father and a son, so we're going to keep it, keep it there. So let's just start. Okay. Hopefully this thing kind of works right. out. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer for if anybody want to do it, check out that guy. <laughs> Links will be in the bottom of the uh, uh, description. Mm -hmm. Hopefully <laughs> sound and everything's up. Don't make it too loud. I know, right? Why is it taking so long? I don't know. How long do we need to know this guy's stuff? Okay. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Let's get a main cam up. All right. And we're back. Technical difficulties be damned. <laughs> so anyway, so like I was saying, the uh, song uh, Cats in the Cradle yes. by Henry Chaplin. Chapin. I don't even like the name. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> so, so we're going to go and we're going to let the lyrics like play along. Uh, I got the lyrics up as well. So we'll be able to kind of like, you know, rock and roll with it. So okay. Here we All go. All right, cool. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> now it's beautiful instrument play. That'll give it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think I think the, the guitar work on here is Oh, dope. it's it's amazing. It, it is, is a little samba and melancholy. Yes. Which, you know, it's kind of like my experience as a as a dad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's been kind of somber and melancholy. Yeah, I like <laughs> that single guitar uh sound. It sounds really good. <laughs> so, so we got right. the, um, you know, you got the guitar, you know. I'm feel you okay. feeling the guitar. Okay, so here we go. My child arrived just the other day. Came to the world in the usual way But there were planes to catch and bills to pay He learned to walk while I was away Now 
<laughs> Put it up there like that. <laughs> Let the audience, in case they don't know the, the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't know the lyrics, and so, I have trouble sometimes with accents and songs, so. Oh, you, you, you couldn't make out what, they, what he was saying? Not everything, no. Oh. Well, what he said was, my child arrived just the other day. Mm-hmm. And isn't it kind of like, you know, it seems like yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Your kids, you know, were just born. like. Oh, yeah. Time flies. Like For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember everything about, you know, the day that uh, I met Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, you were walking up the street. You know what I'm saying? You had Jesus, Rosie, and uh, Gogi. Oh, I don't even remember. I really don't even remember and, that day. Yeah, you had that on much. a you had on a uh, a leather jacket. Oh, I love that leather jacket. Yeah. I know which leather jacket you're talking about. <laughs> and you was doing your your JMC, you know, walk. I noticed your, <laughs> your hips coming down the street. Okay, let's, you're going up the street. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, and you had three kids with you. One was slightly bigger than the other two. You know what I mean? And, you know, Jesus was, he was always, I never thought Jesus was a bad kid, you know, from that day. You know, mm-hmm. he was always nice and respectable to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He was a little wild. He could be a little wild, but yeah. it wasn't nothing like you're like, wow. Nah. This kid doesn't have any. He was easy to tame. Yeah. yeah. Or it wasn't like you were like, wow, this kid doesn't have any home training or his kid's feral. <laughs> no, <laughs> the kid had, the kid had. He could be a little wild, but any kid could be a little wild. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the time, you know, my kid, my my tailor was coming into what? He was just barely over six months, maybe six, seven months. When he, he, he was about to be a year by the time we got together. Almost. I think he was, like he 11, was 11 months. months old when we got together. Yeah. So he's he's running. He's, he's wild and crazy. He's, you know, tailor. Yeah. You know what I mean? So can't hate on it. But uh, <laughs> He was so cute. <laughs> He was so cute. He would fall on his butt all the time. And then the first, you know, when Taylor was born, like I said, I remember, like, it was yesterday. Um, I remember, (laughs) you know, because you get to see it all. And I remember, you know, it was just like aliens, man. He came out and he was like. Oh, I'm so glad that I couldn't see it. It's all so gross. "Mm." (laughs) Oh, that's so gross. (laughs) Was he all covered in goop and shit? Yeah, he was a little dirty and nasty. <laughs> you know, was like, doctor, like, ugh. <laughs> no. He all like. That's so gross. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> so. Were you like, pull him out, pull him out? I was kind of like, wow. Like, <laughs> isn't that going to kind of like hurt? Like, you know, because like I said, she's all like, you know, just. After a while, you just don't feel it anymore. Yeah, she's, she's like, yeah, did they like, you know, like, how far is it going to come down? You know what I mean? Like, it, it ain't going to do it. You feel me? So. That's so nasty. So, you know, and he was, he was there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He was there. Oh, here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, I got to cut the cord. I got to hold him. Got to oh, you cut the thing. cord? Did they tell you where to cut it? Yeah, kind of sort of. She, yeah. She wasn't all like. You can only do it between here and here. She was just coming like that. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> done. <laughs> done. Was it easy to cut through? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember it having any resistance or anything like that. Yeah, well, those medical shears are... are... Resistance is futile. You shall be <laughs> separated. I don't... I, I, I wasn't... Uh, I wasn't very conscious when I had <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that whatever it was that... I, I, I think I... They were trying to help me get them out mm-hmm. by pushing down. So yeah. I, um, they were pushing on my lungs, and I ran out of breath, and I kind of yeah. just passed out. So by the time I woke up, he was already there. Um, so I don't remember them cutting the cord or anything like that. And, mm. you know, for his, I hate to say this, but I was totally conscious when I had Rosie, and I don't remember who cut the cord for her. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm by, sure it was her dad, but I'm not sure. <laughs> well, maybe by Mother's Day we'll remember. Maybe we can tell that story. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll have to ask. I don't know who was. I don't remember anybody else in the room. So, but yeah. So I remember, you know, both those days, the days that I became a dad. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, obviously, it was uh, with Taylor first, and then I met you, and and with Jesus, and from that point on, you know. We were we were connected, and mm-hmm. and I had my ups and I had my downs. And um, one thing about fatherhood is that you don't want to take things 
for granted. So, for example, homeboy, he's saying that homeboy, yeah, me and um, what's his name, Harry, Henry, Harry or Henry? Yeah, it's Harry, Harry, Harry Chapin. Okay, I call him Harry Ha. Okay. So me and Harry Ha. Cause you got it like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like he said, you know, he came in the world the usual way, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nothing out of the ordinary. You, know, you smash and dash, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Although I didn't smash and dash, I smash and kind of like stayed. <laughs> and then with you, you know what I mean? Smashing and, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Smashing and, and took responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But while I didn't have planes to catch and I did have bills to pay, uh-huh. I get what he's saying. And for me, with Taylor and Jesus um, just going into... Say Taylor, when Taylor was first coming around, um, even at like five years old, he was into gaming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he used to always ask me like, hey, dad, you want to play with me? You want to play with me? And, and I knew that he always wanted to be into gaming mainly because I was into gaming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had games. I brought games in the house. Yeah. And, and one could even say the same thing about, you know, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When, when Jesus came around, you know what I'm saying? He was very... You know, I could have, I should have taken more time to be more handy with Jesus, and I should have mm-hmm. taken more time to be to discuss the gaming and the things that he was interested in. Because sure. it was at a time where his imagination was really, really rock and rolling. You know what I'm sure. saying? Sure, but I'm sure a lot of dads say that after years. You know, they look back on all the years. I'm sure they say, "Oh, I could have been more this, or I could have been more that." So, and that's why you they know you do what you can while you're there, and and you that's know. why they ask us be you know sound like Harry Chapman. And he was talking for a new it, and as he grew, he'd say, "I'm gonna be like you, Dad." Taylor you know, used to say stuff like, like that. You. Exactly. He even dressed up like you one day, for, <laughs> one time for Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Taylor he was. wore a hoodie, his, a, a zip up hoodie, mm-hmm. and. I think uh, a baseball hat, a cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, aren't you going to get dressed and go out? He's like, I am. Who are you, you? You, yeah. And he sat in the chair just like you're sitting right now. And he's like. You know, I didn't, I didn't even, I thought it was the coolest thing too. I thought it was so cute. I, I thought it was so cute. I didn't take any offense to it. I thought it was like, he, I didn't think he was clowning me or anything. No, I actually that, took it for what it was. He always looked up to the way you did things. And, you know, it was, you know. And like I said, you know, they're young and everything. And, and you know, you never know. You never know. So you got to, they grow up fast. Yeah. You know, they grow up fast. I mean, ultimately, we're talking less than 20 years here. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Uh, from when we met to when they, it was over. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. And the cats in the cradle. Oh, the chorus. really know what the course or is about it's you know those saying? it's those child stories the cats in the cradle is a child story i don't know but the cat in the cradle i know the, uh the the whole thing with the uh rockabye baby that had a cradle in the tree and there's the little uh the silver spoon mm-hmm. um uh, is it in there the silver spoon was wasn't that part of the cow that jumped over the moon oh was that part of that story i know there was a little boy blue s- yeah i do know remember little boy blue yeah and i'm sure man on the moon yeah. well it could be any man on the moon <laughs> <laughs> but what he says is you know uh when you come at home dad and his father's telling him that he doesn't know when you know, but we'll get together and we're going to, you know, we have a good time then, you know. It's like a reunion. We're going to party when well, we get home. any father knows that, you know, saying, I would imagine it's had their times where it's like, give me, give me a minute. Yeah. And that minute becomes Can, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. A couple days. A couple days and then a never. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And, and it's easier when they're younger. To more push it so, off. Yeah, say to push yeah. it off because you're like. You feel like you're doing something important, and yeah. you might not be. Or you feel like, man, I've spent my day taking care of you, being a father or whatever. I just want this five seconds to do my own thing. You yeah. know what I mean? And, yeah. And once again, it's not a, a matter of being bad or whatever. It's just, you know, you know, keep always be considerate because, once again, you'll find yourself in a... When you 
coming home that I don't know when. Cat in the cradle moment, you know. <laughs> you know, we have a good time then. You know, so. I don't know what the second verse says. Well, let me stop it before you take I mean, me on my ass. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's. Like it's, now knowing the lyrics, it's a, it is a sweet song, you know. Are you still afraid? Or you're not getting any shivers or anything? No. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you was honest. You was, you was honest, and so I want to be considerate. No, I'm oh, okay. Right. Thank you for being so considerate. <laughs> I love my baby. I love my baby. I super love my baby. All right. My son turned 10 just the other day. He said, thanks for the ball, Dad. Come on, let's play. I said, not today. I got a lot to do. He said, that's okay. Oh, I know, right? I know, right? Pobrecito. Pobrecito. <laughs> but. And that happens so often. It's super often. Like, there were a time when, by the time Taylor had turned, I don't know, I'm going to say <clears throat> seven ish, Taylor was super into um, rollerblades. I remember that. He was <laughs> super into. He wanted to take them everywhere. We got him a ramp in the backyard. Yeah, we, you know, and that's I the was year. So scared. That's that. Yeah, I know, right? I was scared because that kid was so accident the, prone. The, yeah, got him the the everything. The and and he was good. It wasn't that you get it and then he doesn't use it. Right. Or he doesn't know. No, he used it. He was. Yeah. He was for his age. He was getting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so many times, I should have been out there busting my ass with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're 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 tired from from work or you're you're whatever. And it, yeah. that was the year that we had them. So it was right. like if there was gonna be any time, I should have taken more of those times. Yeah. More of those moments. So yeah. that so that it's it's beyond casual. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because what happens is is after a while, you know, they just get used to being out there by themselves. They learn a trick by themselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, mm -hmm. or yeah. eventually the you know, is it's not like I felt like um, with my sons that they ever felt like I was pushing them off. But I do feel like at times they felt like, okay, uh, dad is busy. You know, They just automatically knew, the, so they didn't bother. Or, exactly. Or if yeah. not busy, he's uh, preoccupied. Yeah. You know, you take Jesus. By the time Jesus was like, you know, I don't know, 14, Jesus was really into games uh get me music music and then he was comics and then movies mm -hmm. and i remember around that time he used to always love to talk about games yeah he used to everything to talk was about a game. games everything. all the time to the point where it was like look bro your grades aren't where they need to be let's let's, let's games. talk about something else yeah you didn't clean your room you know what i'm saying you at this time he's 14 so you got to kind of be in dad mode yeah and, and yeah that gets in the way and exactly and while it was necessary at the time you know, perhaps I could have taken a little bit more time or, or just more time, not even a little bit, don't even classify it, to just be more of a of an understanding of why is this is exciting you so much. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Eventually I knew, eventually I understood. And I understood from the beginning because I know that these kids are, they're, they're learning from me. They're, they're, I'm an influencer in their life. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to take the time to appreciate that and keep that. Absolutely. You know, stay the influencer in their life. Otherwise, they'll find other influences. You know what I'm saying? And then you'd be sitting around, you know, sound like Harry Chandler. <laughs> going to be like him. I still would like to know the relation of, of these stories. Cats in the Cradle, yeah. Silver Spoon. Like, I don't, I don't understand what he's trying to say with that. Yeah, me neither. Um, but I guess that's for, <laughs> I'll have to GTS it. <laughs> Once again, in this whole situation, I mean, one thing you also have to keep in mind is, you know, tables turn. Tables turn like a mug. Mm -hmm. And it's not even about power. It's more about... I guess sometimes it could be a power trip. You know, you're dad. You're the parent. You're the money maker. You're the this, the homemaker. Right. You know, sometimes things are a little too frivolous or whatever. Sometimes, even though I'm into games, 
And I can play video games all day if I wanted to. Yeah. I look at that defiantly as I'm an adult. But then with your kid, if he wants to play video games all day, it's like, look, stop playing video games. Get up and go do something. Productive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, you play video games all day. So maybe at that time, I should be playing more. Or, or maybe I should be using those games as a bridge to something else. And, and this is not a beat up on, on me because we did. Mm-hmm. I did. You know what I'm saying? Did. Absolutely. I, I showed my kids a lot of things. Yeah, you know they learned saying? a lot. They definitely, things that yeah. they do now that you see that you're like, oh, wait a minute. And I, Yeah, exactly. I set examples for them. So in those situations, it, it, it was cool. But, you know, it, it takes effort and it takes desire to truly have that, that tightest bond, mm-hmm. you know, relationship. And while I'm not saying that, hey, you know, I wish I was getting a call from my, my kids every day. If I were, it would be nice. <laughs> it would be, but it doesn't even happen in the best of them. But you know you did something right because they all turned out to be great yeah, people. Yeah, they do. They do. You know, great adults. So Yeah, they do. They all turned out to be great. But, you know, no, my folks still sound like Henry Chapman. <laughs> no, you, you, were, you were good to them. And that's just the human ones. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Well, it came from college just the other day. <laughs> so much like a man I just had to say. Son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head and they said with a smile what I'd really like. Yeah, I remember, you know, our kids going to uh, school and, you know, Jesus getting big and, you know, and and just things like that, mm-hmm. and, you know, getting friends, you know what I'm saying? Now he didn't care if, um, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you guys want me to, to, to not be in your space? No problem. No problem. I got friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got t- things to do too. Yeah, Taylor, I got friends. I got things to do. You know what I'm saying? I got a band to start. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a gaming f- team to start. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's basically what, what. Taylor and, and, and what my sons did, they started gaming squads and they got friends and they got interest yeah. and, and they got girlfriends and, and, and they spent like that. every, as, as more interest came through, they spent even less time at home. Exactly. And while all that stuff is natural and it should happen, happen, you know, it's one of those things where you're like, if only, you know what I mean? I put in just a little bit more time mm-hmm. with their interest, then it could be something that we shared. But you know, but, you, you don't. Yeah, and you know what? They're still young, and so are you. So there's still time. But this song is old. <laughs> this song is old. <laughs> That's the cool thing that our kids didn't really access for our stuff. Our kids were very independent. Our sons. Yeah. Um, I can't think of. I think the kids also were very lucky that they mm-hmm. grew up up north where they learned how to get around without a car, so yeah. you just didn't need a car for everything, yeah. which let them do a lot more things. Yeah, Jesus probably was, uh, you know, in the, in the day, mm-hmm. Jesus probably was more independent than, say, Taylor, but Taylor, Taylor was emotionally independent, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, so you didn't have to kind of like check in with Taylor and see where Taylor was and and what he was thinking, if anything, Taylor liked the march to the beat of his own drum. Yeah. So as long as you just you just kind of like just had to listen for the beat. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? absolutely. It's Jesus that really learned <laughs> the buses, the trains through New York and yeah. how to get everywhere. Yeah, Jesus was like, like super, was... super independent. So, yeah, you know, so I never felt with my sons that, you know, um, it was kind of easy sometimes to to not be as involved as I should be with my sons because they were so easy to be hands off. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Especially with, actually with them both. With Taylor, Taylor may have gotten into some mischief here, but you know what I mean? That was bound to happen. I mean, look at his dad. Look at my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Apple doesn't fall far, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, and, and, and same with, with Jesus. Jesus was, was, is peaceful. He's, he's, mm-hmm. you know, he, he's, he, not really that mischievous. No, he's pretty you know laid back and yeah, easy he's pretty going. Laid back, easy going. He's a helpful guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you see where he gets that from. He gets that from his parents. You know what I mean? He gets mm-hmm. that. A lot of that, I believe, is nurture because it could have easily gone the the other way. Oh sure. If raised by different people. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So you know, while I sit and listen to uh, Harry Chapin, you know, I can reminisce on that. 
<laughs> I feel a little better. Yeah, see? <laughs> and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man in the moon. Moo, moo. When you're coming home, so you wish you could just remix it. You should remix it. We'll get together then, Dad. Dad. Did you notice? It switched up. Yeah. It was. When you coming home, I don't know when, son. Can you play? But yeah, it's, we'll get together then. You know, you know we have a good time mm-hmm. then. Now it's when you coming home, you're like, I don't know, dad. Can I borrow the car? <laughs> yeah, can I get called dad? <laughs> I really don't need you, yeah. but I want to really want to borrow your car, dad. <laughs> I don't know, but you We'll talk you another know, time. You will get together then, dad. <laughs> dad. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Dad. I don't want to get together with you. You know what I mean? And then there was a you know moment with me where I probably would have been like, you know, fuck it then. Oh yeah, yeah. We're definitely those kind of people. I'm like, hey, you fuck know? it. Let me know when you're available. Yo, yeah, yo, Dad. Can I get some money? I already spent it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that time I was asking you to hang? I, was I the, had it. Yeah, I was in. But the, you didn't have time. I was in the money spending mode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah like, it's gone now. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. It gets back, put back in the pot and recirculated. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get your portion when I say. You know, so next time I get in, you know, hang out with a brother. <laughs> I think what I don't like about it is it's very repetitive. But then again, you know, a lot of songs are. There, there so are about... It does seem like there's like 50 verses on this joint. Yeah, it's long as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I'm trying not to let the algorithm hit a brother, but <laughs> catch a brother in the act. But you know what I'm saying? It's really, like, tough, man. <laughs> but... Because I think I know how this ends, so. But I get it. I get it with the, with them. You know, our boys are in college now, and you know what I'm saying? And Well, actually, they're beyond that, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. But when they were, you know, it, it was good to see them. It was good that Taylor was close. It was good, you know, when he would come through, it was good to go to his his um, dorm and see. Just yeah. see him growing up, you know what I mean? Yeah. See Taylor, uh, see Jesus, you know, yeah. working up in Jersey when he was doing his thing, working in New York, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. He's working in New York. And, you, you know? know, and it's funny because you, when they're little, you look at them when you're little and you just look at them and you shake your head. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't even know what you're going to turn out to be. <laughs> like, I don't know how you're going to get around in life. And then they grow up and you're like, oh, OK, you got, you got it, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I was really proud of, of that for him to have his own life. And like I said, you know, to be able to just, you know, there are adults I know that would freak out traveling and, and just having a life in New York. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For Jesus to have done that, you know. Oh, so confidently and yeah. And then, you know, eventually he came down here, down to Virginia and, and established himself. And and at that point, there was no, hey, got money, got the keys. If anything, he became someone that looked out for us. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So for that, you know, we definitely did a good good job with our kids. You yes. know what I mean? So I'm not feeling as bad, Henry. That's right, Henry. Put a cap in it. We did pretty okay. <coughs> but that said, <laughs> you know, I, all those things, you know, where he's at right now in this song, he would love to hang out with, with his sons. Mm-hmm. But his sons, they're they busy, you know, they got their own crap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His, in fact, I think at this point here he's a grandpa. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, to a certain extent, actually, we are too. <laughs> yeah, we are. And so it's one of those things. Not by our boys, but <laughs> yeah. our boys don't have any no, kids yet. No, not yet. So it's one of those things where it's, you know, I would kill to roll a blade with Taylor right now. You know what I'm saying? I would kill to to practice with a guitar with, with Jesus. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I would love nothing more than to just talk games and movies with Jesus as, as long as he wanted to, as in, intricately as he wanted to back then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And with Taylor to be his gaming partner and and to teach him the things. And at this point, he'll be teaching me the new stuff. Oh, you know yeah, saying? for sure. You know. You're calling him up. Yeah, exactly. Before, us, hey, Dad, can you hook this up for me? Now I call him up and like, hey, how can I, um, I don't know, 
get something from my website. He's like, oh, dad, just Google it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, like whatever, whatever happened to, hey, you know, you know, look at what I'm doing, you know. He's, so, he's turning the tables. He's turning the tables, and here I am, like Henry Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> It's your nice talking to you, Dad. It's your nice talking to you. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me. He'd grown up just like me. Oh, My boy. was just like me. My boy. Oh, it's sad. Was just like me. Because I feel like my pops would be like, hey, what, how you doing, man? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm coming through. Yeah, I know. I'm coming through, man. I'm coming through. I got you. I got you. I got you, Dad. Three years later. Yeah. <laughs> We're still coming through. So it's not about the love. It's about the, you know, we, we got to take advantage of it. Because while I feel like my boys are just like me, I'm sure my dad feels like I'm just like him. And mm-hmm. in many ways, I feel like I am. Mm-hmm. So, you know, take the time, bro. Like, just give it a shot. You know what I mean? And if you, the day you realize that you should, you know, you should. Okay. Yep. Otherwise, you're going to be listening to creepy songs. <laughs> Fathers and their boys. All together now. Home. No win. Dad. <laughs> oh. This is the best part. The ending? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It got a little dreary at the end, like, you know? Yeah, see, uh, that's what I, I, see, I like uplifting stuff, and this wasn't very uplifting, and it's very, very sad, and I don't want anything that makes me want to tear up. But, you know, it's a good song. It's a good song. No. I wouldn't listen to it any more than I used to, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good song. Good, good job, Henry. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Harry, Harry Chapman. Harry Chapman. That's Harry Chapman, the cats in the cradle, everybody. So uh, check it out. And who knows? Maybe you're feeling the same way. Maybe. <laughs> so Let us know. We're going to take a break with that. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll come back with uh, entertain. No. Hold on. Yes. Hey, guys. It's JMC here from the TMC for JMC show. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and subscribe. down below. If not, we're going to kill you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> we are not gonna die. Love my baby. <laughs> we gotta do it again. We gotta do it again. <laughs>